Hey guys, Alu Pop here. I've decided that instead of doing a monthly wrap up like I have since I started my channel, I would instead do recent reads as that way there are more books to talk about since I don't do a whole lot of reading during the month sometimes. And I don't have to worry about getting a video up at the start of the month. So today is my recent reads number one. Starting off, I read Coming Home by Lauren Brooke. Probably people are more familiar with the TV series Heartland that are based off of the, these books, myself included, though I did read a few of these when I was a child in elementary, I believe. I don't really remember how old I was. I was probably about eight or nine. I was pretty young. And I'm almost certain that I read this book. However, I'm more familiar with the first episode in the TV series, and this is quite different from that. And because I've watched that episode more recently and more often than I have read this book, I was surprised by how little I actually remembered this. And that's probably going to be the same thing for whenever I get to the later books in the series. Coming Home basically follows Amy Fleming, who lives on a horse ranch called Heartland, that is all about healing horses from traumatic events. It's the first in a series, like I've said, and it's pretty short. I don't think it's even a hundred, it's not even 200 pages, it's 140 pages. So it's very easy to spoil. So I won't talk too much about it, but I did give it a four out of five. The next book I read was Running with the Demon by Terry Brooks. This is a book I've read a few times on the channel and I have a review up, so I won't talk too much about it here. I have been attempting to read all of the books in this series, specifically the Shannara series, for a while. And there are a lot of books in this series. This time, however, I decided to read this book via audiobook and following it along as I like to do sometimes. I don't read a lot of audiobooks and I found it easier to get through them if I re read along. And I'm hoping that this time I will be able to get through all of the books. I am determined that this time it's going to happen. There are books that I haven't read yet that I want to read, so it's going to happen. <laughs> I wasn't really sure of the narrator of this book at first, of the version that I chose, because I realized afterwards there were two versions to choose from and I didn't view it or listen to a preview of either because I didn't realize there were two versions. However, the one I did choose, he grew on me a little bit by the end, and I think most of what my problem was was likely that I felt that it should have been a female narrator because most of the book takes place in Nest's point of view, but it could also just be that I'm used to listening to audiobooks that switch between male and female for gender roles. That could be it too. My opinion on the book itself hasn't changed. I have given the book itself a 4 out of 5, whereas the audiobook gets a 3 just because I wasn't really sure about the narrator. The next book in the series I'm going to try to get the same narrator. I'm pretty sure he does the next book as well, so I guess he'll probably likely grow on me even more as I continue with the series. Next I read A Whole New World by Liz Braswell, which is a new to me book and author. This is basically a retelling of Disney's Aladdin, and it's really just meant for fans of Aladdin, to the point where I've seen it described as basically fan fiction, and I can get that. I'm not a whole big fan of 
Aladdin. It's a good movie. It's just not one of my personal favorites. And this book, honestly, to me, wasn't anything more than just okay. The tone was fine. The characters were a lot like how I would have imagined them. The beginning was very similar to the movie, minus all of the singing and dancing. I gave this a 3 out of 5, and at some point I would be interested in reading other books that are in the A Twisted Tale series, which are similar to this book. I'm pretty sure they've done, that is, Liz Braswell and other authors have done the other Disney princesses. I don't know if they're planning on doing other Disney movies in general, but the Disney princesses, I know for sure they have done. I don't know when I'll get to those books, but at some point I would be interested in reading them. The fourth book I read was The Reptile Room by Lemony Snicket. This is the second book in the series of Unfortunate Events series and a reread for me. This is another series that I've been trying to get through for a while. I'm not that fond of the books, but at the same time I'm also interested in how it ends and it's not a series that I grew up with. However, I don't actually remember where I stopped. I think I have a general idea and I'll probably know when I get to the book. However, at the moment I can't think of where I actually stopped. I know that it was one of the later books. I think I still probably had like three or four books to read to get to the end. I just don't know what book specifically. I have all the books, so I will be completing it pretty sure this time. <laughs> Much like the Shannara books. I gave this a 3 out of 5. The fifth book I read was Revival by Stephen King, which is another book that is both new to me and the author is new to me. I have a few of Stephen King's novels, However, I have never actually read his books until now. Revival follows Jamie Morton from the age of six until he's in his 50s. There is a lot of death, what happens after we die, as well as power, especially secret power. I enjoyed this, however, I am aware that Stephen King is kind of known for his horror books, and because of that, even though I know that he doesn't just write horror, I was expecting horror and this wasn't scary to me. I was looking up reviews before I did this and I have seen other people say that it's scary, but to me, I didn't find it scary. I don't know if it was just me or if I'm better at dealing with horror than I thought. But despite that, I did give this a 4 out of 5, and I am interested in reading other books by him. Maybe things that are better known for being horror, maybe like It or something. In the meantime, if you have any recommendations for someone who's never really read horror but would like to get into the genre, leave them in the comments. The last book I read was Chicken Soup for the Soul, Grandparents. All about grandparents. This was one of the books that I wanted to read this year in my list of the 15 books that I wanted to read this year. For that matter, Revival was also on that list. I love Chicken Soup for the Soul anyways, but this one in particular I had a very special connection with, and some of the stories in here really hit hard. I had a very good relationship with both of my grandmothers when they were alive, and with both of them gone, I still have days where I just sit and remember them. It should come as no surprise that I gave this a 5 out of 5. Those are all the books I read since the last time I did a monthly wrap-up. I'm behind on my Goodreads challenge by like 6 books, but I still have half a year to catch up. <laughs> so at the moment I'm not worried. Let me know what you've been reading recently. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.
बाय बाय